Happy Sunday, ladies and gentlemen, all in crypto here, and welcome back, guys, for what is going to be nothing short of another jam-packed daily market update. And boy, oh boy, is this a joyous one. The altcoin market is well and truly waking up from its slumber. And even the likes of Cardano is up over 35% over the past 48 hours. We're going to look at why that is in this video. Obviously, it's on the back end of, I guess, speculation, but kind of perhaps confirmation in regards to Charles Hoskinson's potential role in um, the United States government or working with the United States government, what that means for not just Cardano, but the broader cryptocurrency industry. And talking about the cryptocurrency industry and a massive pain in the backside there are sources out there, and we're going to look at that, that are uh, saying, sources familiar with the matter, saying that Gary Gensler is actually going to resign on the 30th of December. So we'll be talking about that. We'll be looking at perhaps, if we've got time, DJ Vance's take on Gary Gensler. He's came out and been very vocal in regards to um, his poor performance. I want to maybe play that clip with you. But to start things off, guys, I really want to... Uh, just take a look at the space broadly from a technical point of view because everything that we've said was going to happen from 16k for bitcoin has happened and that next leg after this pullback was um initiated on the breaking of this broadening descending channel that you've been pulling back in there was this break on the pullback, we said, don't worry, the key event has taken place and we're seeing continuation. We didn't know that Trump was going to win the presidency. However, he has. And ultimately, that's great news for the industry at large. But it wasn't just Bitcoin, and we've got lots of technical targets that see Bitcoin go to the upside, that triggered. It was the likes of the total cryptocurrency market cap that we have a bull flag for taking us to 4.1k. There's more juice to be squeezed out of these lemons, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and we can see, just like Bitcoin, because obviously in the total market cap, there's a lot of Bitcoin in it, this broke out of its bull flag and there's now that continuation. It's currently at three point, uh, sorry, 2.3 trillion to 4.1 in my opinion. Also, here we have the likes of the total cryptocurrency market cap, excluding Bitcoin. We've got a number of targets for this. We've got the short-term bull flag target at 1.7 trillion. And we've got a broader target that takes up to 3.7. Um, and then even if we look at the likes of, let's see if we've got others on here. Very, very similar thing. Others, so everything outside the 10 likely going to 2 trillion. Everything excluding um, Bitcoin and Ethereum we didn't look at also broke out. So there's, there's key levels being taken across the board or key moments occurring. And that next leg, just like we predicted for the cryptocurrency space, is here. And we looked at a number of altcoins that had falling wedges. And we said, you're very likely going to break out of these. You know, Dogecoin is one that actually made its target and is up, up and away. Cardano is now on the same trajectory. And perfectly on the Cardano news, we can look at perhaps why it's doing what it's doing. And we know that Charles Hoskinson released a video just a few days ago, or not a video, a tweet just a few days ago, where he spoke about how he was going to step away from Twitter for a bit due to the hate that he gets, essentially. <clears throat> you know, um, I think you kind of need to, as somebody in the public and somebody that has created something brilliant, uh, expect, um, you know, I, we could give plenty of examples of people that have created things and, 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 and the kind of use of that, of, of that creation of kind of, rebelled against them, not to get too biblical or philosophical or, or even compare Charles Hoskinson to that arena. Um, but since then, he came back and he essentially, on the back end of the Trump victory, uh, spoke about how he's likely going to be working with Congress. Um, and I want to go ahead and actually play where this is from, because I think this is real, really fuel to Cardano's file. ...in each other again. But we're going to have to earn that. And that's what 2025 is going to be about. Second, a large part of my time in 2025 will also be devoted to the political process. I'm going to be spending quite a bit of time working with lawmakers in Washington, D.C., and quite a bit of time working with members of the administration uh, to help foster and facilitate 
with other key leaders in industry, uh, the crypto policy. So that's one clip. There's also his clip, I think, a little bit more broadly uh, in regards to his I'm back that will also play. Actually get a law passed. So that's what we're going to focus on in 2025. We're going to get our growth and adoption where it needs to be. And we're going to make sure that we have solid policy so that we can move forward as a nation. As many of you know, I have personal friendships with certain lawmakers and certain people who are now members of the Trump administration. We hopefully will be able to have great dialogues with them in the coming months to put together some of this policy. And I hope to be part of that. But that has yet to be decided based upon the fact that they're not even in office yet uh, and they just picked a chief of staff. So it's going to take a little bit more time to see what that composition looks like. But in my early conversations with the transition team, in my early conversations uh, with many people who want to promote good crypto policy, I have every reason to believe there is a genuine desire to not relitigate and relive the last four disastrous years. That we'll leave that there. So I think this is really fuel card on his file. Remember, all technically signaled. It's very interesting, isn't it, how technical analysis can kind of predict future events. The market's generally doing very well. There wasn't just Cardano that had its falling wedge. There was many out there um, like the likes of um, Algo, you know, some of these a little bit sleepier to wake up, the likes of Shiba, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a great time for the space generally. Um, on the topic of the, the, the past sort of four horrendous years, this is interesting. So the SEC chairman, Gary Gensler, will resign as 33rd chair of the US Securities and Exchange Commission by the end of December, according to an anonymous source. Gary Gensler was appointed by President Joe Biden in 2021 and succeeded Jay Clayton, who resigned in 2020. We'll see. I'm not. I'm a little bit dubious. I think. I think Gary's 100% going. Um, whether he's sort of now planning to resign or or not, I think. I think it's very likely he will because he's going to get pushed either way. And certainly, we know the likes of the um, uh, uh, sort of administration that we currently have, like like DJ Vance, have been very sort of vocal in regards to being against Gary Gensler. I want to go ahead and play that clip for you, and then we're going to wrap the video up. Altcoins really are waking up, and it's all about this kind of flow of money into the cryptocurrency space, um, and how we're sort of living through that, if you will. Um, let's go ahead and dive into this. First person, in my view, at least. In terms of my substantive degrees, you know, disagreements, I'm sure he's like a nice guy, uh, is Gary Gensler. Okay, so Gary Gensler is sort of the complete opposite of my view. And there are two problems that I have with Gary, uh, one of which is that I think he wants to inject politics way too much into the actual business of securities in the United States of America. But uh, the, the, in some ways, the more fundamental issue, or at least the most relevant issue uh, for, for this particular conference is you know, the, the approach that Gary has taken to regulating blockchain and crypto uh, seems to be almost the exact opposite of what it should be. Uh, it, you know, and I'm oversimplifying a little bit, but the question the SEC seems to ask in regulating crypto is, is this a token with utility? And if it's a question, if it's a token with utility, then they seem to want to ban it. And if it's token without utility, they don't seem to care. I almost think we should be the opposite here, right? I worry about financialization. I worry about, frankly, whether a lot of the crypto stuff is fundamentally fake. But if a token actually has utility, that's the sort of thing that, you know, by all means, regulate it. By all means, be careful about, you know, how consumers interact with it. But you don't want to just get rid of this stuff. And, and here's where I really, really worry about this is a lot of the newest challengers to social media, the social media incumbents of 2024 are going to require some blockchain technology to make their, to make their business work. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe they'll require a, 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 a token that supports verification. Um, there are all of these ways in which the companies, when I talk to sort of friends who are still in the VC industry, the companies that are most exciting to them, they're doing actual things in communications in the 21st century, in 2024, I should say, those companies very often rely on high utility tokens to do things like verification. Well, if we're not making it possible to do verification, then we're gonna make it really hard to challenge the existing inc incumbents in the space. Pretty amazing given what DJ Vance's role is likely gonna be and what he just said, he gets it, you know? 
Um, so amazing things going on across the board, guys. Just enjoy the journey. You know, when we've looked at the space, generally the altcoin space, it's very much been what we would describe as a sort of phase one or, or stage one. That likely leads to phase two, and we're seeing the initiation of that um, really across the board. And there's this sort of great journey that's still to be had for the crypto space at large. And I'm very happy to be on it with all of you on the other side of the camera. That's it from me, ladies and gentlemen. On that note, I'm going to love and leave you. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.